So LeBron James, 2020 NBA season, if he catches his fourth NBA championship of all time uh, in his career, what does this mean for his career? What happens to his all-time rankings? How do people perceive his legacy to be at 35 years of old, uh, as well as continuing a couple more years in the NBA? So we're going to address that in this video. So LeBron James, he's been in the NBA. This is his 17th season. Uh, he's been on... This is going to be his third franchise, so he started off his first seven years in the Cleveland Cavaliers. Led him to one NBA Finals appearance his fourth season whenever he was 22 years old. Uh, gang swept to the San Antonio Spurs, but did sit out, still had a, an Eastern Conference, went through the Detroit Pistons in the Conference Finals. And then as well as, uh, again, he lost to the Spurs. So he decided to leave Cleveland, went to the Miami Heat, went to four straight Finals appearances. He won back-to-back -back championships in 2012 and 2013. Uh, we saw a new appearance of LeBron. <laughs> we don't know if he was on PDs or anything, but he was getting stronger. Uh, his game was developing more in the post, as well as handling the ball. As playing more in a team-centric offensive uh, system held by Eric Spolstra. LeBron was finally being checked by Pat Riley and him as well. Uh, so it was very exciting for the team uh, to win those back-to-back -back championships. We actually saw LeBron more in a dominant light to being one of the greatest players of all time, chasing Michael Jordan. Uh, it was very exciting for him in that time period. But then after losing to the Spurs in 2014, he did go on and join back to the Cleveland Cavaliers, four straight finals appearances again, uh, winning a championship in a stellar fashion against the 73-19 against the Golden State Warriors. Uh, brought his third championship overall, but his first in the Cleveland Cavaliers in 52 years uh, for them. Very exciting 2016. That's when we saw LeBron elevate his legacy uh, even more. You know, even though he did have those couple of championships back in Miami, but whenever he did uh, decide to go back into Cleveland, win that championship, it was the greatest championship of his career. Uh, and you know, we all saw that in a stellar fashion against the 73 and 19, one of the greatest teams of all time. Uh, now LeBron, you know, he had a couple more years in Cleveland, losing to the Warriors. Kyrie Irving did leave the team. Uh, and then he decided to join the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, uh, now here in the 2020 season, he has a contender. He brought in Anthony Davis on his team. The one-two punch. LeBron's played more of a... LeBron's always been more of a point guard type or a, a point forward. But LeBron's really taken on that point guard role uh, within the Los Angeles Lakers, putting Rondo off the bench. And the Lakers have succeeded at it. It's not the best hockey assist offensive flow. They've had different spurts. Uh, but LeBron, you know, he's still handling, you know, the ball very well, making good decisions, uh, and it's working. They're number one in the West, and they're going against. Uh, then they'll be looking to go against the finals, probably against the Milwaukee Bucks. But if LeBron were to win his fourth ring, uh, this would be huge for his legacy. Uh, he would be the first NBA player to have three Finals uh, MVPs and three championships on three different franchises. This is something to where he can't really, ch we don't know, I don't expect him to chase Michael Jordan in rings, six or more. Uh, but to make things different from the GOAT argument, he can now have a different criteria as well as a different case for Michael Jordan than uh, saying instead of staying on one team and won six championships, I won at least four championships, but I went to different teams and won those franchises, championships or finals appearances. And that shows how valuable I am all time. I can see a lot of cats using that argument for LeBron James, especially if he wins with LA. Uh, and then you're going to have more of a storyline emotional side with Kobe Bryant passing away, having their 17 chip to tie the Boston Celtics and uh, you know go on to pass them further out. Uh, so LeBron's in a good direction right now. The 2020 season's the best case for him to win it. If he does beat the Milwaukee Bucks, that's going to show that he took down a superstar player in Giannis, who's probably going to be the MVP. Uh, it shows LeBron's very consistent in his tenure of 17 seasons in the NBA. But as we see LeBron right now, he's a three-time champ, three finals MVPs. That will increase to four MVPs, uh, four finals MVPs and four championships. I expect him. I actually think the NBA will give him his fifth regular season MVP, which will boost him up in the all-time rankings. Uh, I know a lot of cats already have him on their route, Mount Rushmore. I don't have LeBron there yet. I think he's very close. I have LeBron James number five all-time on my list. Uh, again, I'll make another video that goes more in depth, but I have... And my top five, I have Michael Jordan, I have uh, Bill Russell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 
Magic Johnson. Then I got LeBron James at five and then Larry Bird at six. Pretty close with LeBron. Uh, but whenever LeBron, if he wins his championship, I'm going to have to boost him up to the Mount Rushmore uh, of the NBA and uh, really evaluate if I'm going to play some. Most likely, I'm going to put him at the number four spot. At worst case scenario, I have to really evaluate and dissect of how the finals takes in with him. But winning four championships is a huge thing, being as a number one option. We've seen Magic Johnson. He had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They both went back and forth on MVPs, finals MVPs, and being the quote-unquote best player uh, you know, in the world as well as on their team. That's been a debate. Bill Russell, uh, you know, people can kind of put his 11 championships, talking about his different era. Uh, so there's a lot of greatness that comes into where LeBron James wins a championship. Uh, I think the storyline, you know, everything's riding on the wall to where they will win this championship based on his career and their time standings. Uh, but this is definitely putting LeBron on the Mount Rushmore in the NBA. This makes him a, a great case to be the second greatest player of all time. I don't know if I'll go there yet if he wins it. I have to really dissect and, you know, put things in perspective when you have Kareem and Bill uh, else on the list. Uh, when it comes to LeBron, I'm very excited to see what happens within this championship. Uh, this is this would be a great testament to where I know Michael Jordan will still be the GOAT, but if you were to have this argument, you know, I would entertain it because LeBron shows his greatness by winning on three different franchises. And, uh, you know, that, that greatness of lifting franchises is a huge thing when it comes to all-time ranking. So, you know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll entertain that whenever you're talking about LeBron and MJ. I know the media outlets, they're going to be boosting uh, LeBron's legacy and really talking about uh, this for his legacy, you know, that's gonna be exciting to hear about. Uh, I love the talk. I love the debates uh, You know, let me let me know what you guys think below where LeBron rent ends up all-time rankings uh, Where he'll be I expect LeBron to win this championship and of course I still have him the number one best player in the world as of right now That would just secure it and the Lakers are gonna have a couple more years with Anthony Davis who most likely will resign uh, but this would be huge for LeBron's legacy. If he finishes off with only four rings, he's still going to be in the Mount Rushmore of NBA of all time. He'll finish probably most likely as the second greatest player because he's going to chase Kareem in the 33,000 uh, total points of all time. Or I think it was 31 or 33K. But he's definitely going to make that in the next two to three seasons. And then if he finishes off with four championships, that's fine for his career. You know, one of three different franchises being one of the best players of all time. I'll probably rank him at the end of his career as the number two all time, but let's see if he can win any more chips. But based on this chip in 2020, uh, definitely Mount Rushmore in the NBA. You can actually debate for that number two spot. I'll entertain it as well.